Oh, I'm getting sweaty over here. Fucking god damn it! And now I've just blown up my microphone again, as I do in every intro, but now it's gonna be worse. <laughs> I Fuck. said before recording, you better be ready because I'm gonna do something and you weren't paying attention, you were too busy talking about putting your fingers up your ass. <laughs> we're doing a battlefront video, what do you expect me to do? I want all the stimulation. Well, you know, you've got to be paying attention to the Stormtrooper and you can see like the sweat rendering on the Stormtrooper helmet and just like jack off to it. I mean, I don't know that Stormtrooper armor sweats, but uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's not sentient armor, as far as I'm aware, unless that's in the new lore. Well, obviously, you haven't, you're not up to date on your Star Wars lore like I am. Yes, clearly. That's how that works. Oh my god, it's like a week till that film comes out. I'm seeing it like two days later, but it's about a week. Oh, yeah, so, I fucking pumped for a bit of Kylo Ren on my screen. <laughs> I, I might watch it, I don't know. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Anyway, this is the Battle of Jakku. Uh, free DLC, two maps for free. Um... They came out this week, Tuesday, for everyone. They came out last week for uh, pre-order people. And there's like one new game mode, which is, is what we're playing now on this map called Turning Point. Um, I guess it's like Rush. Like you move across, well, you know, one team attacks moving across the map. But it's different. It works on control points, four levels. And, at, you know, at first, and this first control point right now, there's three of them in a line. Three different areas you can capture. You only need to capture one. Uh, then you go to the next phase when there's another three, and then it decreases to two, and the final phase is just one. So it's, uh, it kind of like funnels into like really intense action. That sounds, uh, it sounds kind of cool. It's like, I'm sure you'd have to play it to understand because I don't fully understand. It sounds like uh, a mixture of Rush and like uh, Battlefield 4's chain link modes, which nobody ever played. Is that the back and forth one? Yes. Yeah, this is just one direction. This is always the rebels are attacking. It's kind what of the inverse of the Walker assault, right? Where the you know the the, the Imperials are defending. Yeah. Where where the fuck are you, by the way? This looks like I don't know. It's just like ruins everywhere. So this is Jakku. This is the planet from the new movie. Uh, you know the girl Ray, the no. lady with the stick. Carly Rae Jepsen. Yes, basically, she called me and she was like, Girl, <laughs> baby, I gotta get you down to Jakku. But it turns out that, you know, the black guy from uh, the new Star Wars film was actually gay all along. Jumbo Jaeger, yeah, me and him, we yeah. got a thing going on. That That's the whole story of the Carly Rae Jepsen song, isn't it? Where yeah. Where she's like trying to get the guy to ask him out. Yeah, he's not black. Her out. Yeah. And then it turns out he's gay because he asks out, like, the fucking bass guitarists or something and like yeah. jack off each other in the background. I mean, they were, that whole band was dreamy, including Carly Rae Jepsen. She's fucking I, great. Her songs are magic. She's not as good as Miley Cyrus, but... Oh, God. Oh, my God. I, I've seen... actually... I've been listening to a fucking Demi Lovato song recently. Not, nice. I, not the actual song, like a remix, but it's really good. <laughs> I felt bad when I found out it was a Demi Lovato song. I was like, God damn, this is fucking gay as shit. Yeah, well, there's nothing wrong with it. Fucking Jumbo Jaeger, <laughs> hottest man in, in movies. <laughs> anyway, this is Battlefront. Uh, very different map um, from basically anything else that, uh, you know, like the Solus and Hoth maps were like one big channel. Like, you played Hoth. So it was like one big channel, and then there's like two. On either side, you've got like. On one side, you've got like the cliff edge with like paths, and on the other side, you've got the interior base area. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Solus was the same. You had like two. Like a webwork of uh, alleyways and stuff up the sides, and then one big canyon in the middle. This is different because it's kind of just like a mass of cover and dunes, and it's really open and really flat, so you can do a lot of like. Uh, I'm using the the T21B, I think, targeting rifle, so like I can just shoot people across the map, and it's brilliant. Dude um, was a great movie, by the way. Dude? No, Dune. Oh, you Dune. You said Dune, and it all it made me think of the movie. Yeah, I mean, fucking Space Worms. I've actually never seen it. I just say it's good. It's uh, it's not a good movie, but, you know. Didn't you, ex I think you explained, like, a scene with, like, a flying baby head in space or some shit like uh, that? There's a giant tank. It was, like, a hermetically sealed tank. I, I've tried to watch that movie multiple times recently, and I can't get past the opening minutes. There's, like, some random woman <laughs> in space talking. <laughs> it's fucking, you know, like, like, in front of, like, like, a star, uh, a star field. Is it kind of like well, how you imagine like David Bowie if he was on drugs trying to explain something? Oh yeah, if he was on drugs. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Anyway, Space Worms. Doom is an even better movie, in my opinion. Wait, what? Doom, fucking... That was the whole thing about the Doom movie, was that it was not, in fact, demons. It was space alien slug things, wasn't it? No, I'm pretty sure it was demons, because, like, they come from hell, I'm pretty sure. And Dwayne The Rock Johnson becomes, a like, a demon, doesn't he? No, it was it was like an alien uh, parasite thing that got launched out of sa like sacks in their throat. Do you remember? Right, you know how? They've no, got that? no, there was totally demons in the Doom movie. They had the flying skulls as well. What movie are you watching? Is this like a fan movie? No, this is the actual movie. I'm pretty sure it had the guy in the wheelchair and he gets uh, turned into a demon and suddenly he has like fucking metallic spinning legs. It's almost like, certainly aliens. I'll look this up. I'm pretty sure it's not. Got a, one on, got a one on Rotten Tomatoes. So oh yeah, go. it's an awful movie. The best thing about it is the first person scene and it's terrible. Plot. Uh, dude's name's Reaper. Nice. Oh, of course he does. Here we go, Doom film synopsis. A team of space marines known as the Rapid Response Tactical Squad, led by Sarge, The Rock, is sent to a science facility on Mars after somebody reports a security breach. There they learn about the alert that came after a test subject, a mass murderer purposely injected with alien DNA. Fuck! There you go. Martian Why? chromosomes called C24. Why? It can mutate humans into monsters and is highly infectious. Why? No, they're supposed to be demons from... <laughs> this, no wonder this movie got a one. They fucked up. <laughs> that's not That's not even among the top problems with that game. The top ten problems. You know the doctor's called Dr. Carmack? I didn't realise that. Oh, wow, that's, that's cool, actually. Yeah, it's almost like when fucking Frank O'Connor was in that Halo movie. You know, as the was janitor. He? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. that's like... That sums up Frank O'Connor's role in Halo, doesn't it? But that's most of the people who work at Microsoft are, in fact, janitors. <laughs> oh. Sweeping up Steve Barmer's sweat. Anyway, um... <laughs> developers, developers, <laughs> developers, developers. You occasionally, I love that video. you occasionally just pops up on my Twitter feed, you know, random gifs of Barmer at, like, football games and stuff, screaming. What? Oh, I need to follow people that you follow then. I don't get that. Yeah, there's a lot of that, there's a lot of feminism, and there's a lot of Donald Trump getting eaten by uh, eagles uh, most recently. Wow, that's quite funny. I just looked at my Twitter feed, and there's a photoshopped Donald Trump here. There's, uh, I'm pretty sure that's hentai. <laughs> well, that's basically um, feminism, is hentai. A picture of Seamus from wrestling. He's a feminist. Uh, more wrestling. Yeah, I don't have a very interesting Twitter feed. I don't know if he's a feminist or not. I turned my Twitter on this morning, it was a giant picture of Baron Corbin. <laughs> he had some <laughs> interview with somebody and just a picture of him, like... Yeah, fucking the dumbest thing was my first tweet. Anyway, yeah, this is the... Uh, now we're at the one objective, so now there's a new... Like, earlier the on wonk. you had three points to capture. Uh, and capturing did, did either one of them... Did you say would... wonk? I said one. Oh, I thought you said wonk. I was like, is this... Are you at a Chinese restaurant now? Yeah, we're at the Chinese restaurant of Jakku. It's just a lot of crates in the middle of a field. Jakku sounds like it could be a Chinese restaurant, to be fair. I mean, it could be, but that's not really relevant. So this is the one objective. So now you see you've got 20 on 20 converging at one point. As opposed to spread out across three, or indeed two. As is the case in uh, in phase three. Well, you know, Battlefield 4 has uh, 32 against 32 on one point as well. So. Oh, well, it's got a bigger number, so it must be better. That's how that of works. Of course, yeah, bigger is better. Yeah, in every regard, yeah. That's why the Xbox One's the best console. Like, twice <laughs> the weight of any of the others. <laughs> no, that, that doesn't make sense, because the PS4 has four, the Xbox One only has one. Therefore, the PS4 is four times as good. But well, the Xbox One's got letters. Like, oh, so it's good. three letters so as opposed the, to one so number. So does PS4. Uh, it I'm has in P the and number S. part. <laughs> oh my god, PlayStation's made of letters. Fuck. <laughs> Come back soon.